Today we're reading story number 116 from the Gospel Story Bible by Marty Machowski. Today's story is The Death of Christ. It's on page 232, and it's found in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. These four Gospels are found in the New Testament. Here's the picture. The Death of Christ. As Jesus hung on the cross, many people thought he was just another criminal getting what he deserved. The soldiers took his clothes for themselves. While Jesus suffered on the cross above them, he prayed aloud, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Jesus' mother Mary and some friends were there watching, along with Jesus' disciple John. When Jesus saw him there, he told Mary to think of John as her son, and he told John to care for Mary as his own mother. From that time on, John took Mary into his home. The people mocked Jesus. They said, why don't you come down from the cross if you're the son of God? You trust in God, why doesn't he help you now? You saved other people, why can't you save yourself? If you're the king of Israel, come down from the cross. If we see it, we'll believe. Because Jesus was dying, they didn't think he was the Messiah anymore. Jesus said nothing in return. As hours passed, God caused the sun's light to disappear and darkness fell on everything. In the middle of the afternoon, Jesus called out in a loud voice, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Finally, the time came when his terrible suffering was over. Jesus called out, It is finished. Father, I give my spirit into your hands. With that, Jesus bowed his head and died. At that moment, an earthquake shook the land and rocks split open. The curtain in the temple was torn in half from top to bottom. Tombs opened and people were raised from the dead. When the Roman centurion standing at the cross felt the earthquake and saw all that had happened, he said, truly, this was the son of God. Later, some soldiers were sent to see if the crucified men were still alive. If they were still alive, they were going to break their legs so that they would die more quickly. But when they saw that Jesus was already dead, they pierced his side with a spear just to make sure. Blood and water poured out. Jesus had died. Joseph of Arimathea, a disciple of Jesus, asked Pilate for permission to take his body and bury it. Joseph and Nicodemus, the Pharisee who visited Jesus at night, took Jesus down from the cross. They wrapped his body with spices and cloth strips and buried him in Joseph's new tomb. Then a large rock was rolled in front of the entrance. The world's saddest, darkest day was over. The three most important words Jesus spoke on the cross are, it is finished. The terrible pain of crucifixion made it a horrible way to die, but the suffering Jesus experienced was much worse. While he hung on the cross, God the Father turned his back on him. The Father poured out his anger for our sin on Jesus, his son. Though Jesus was sinless, he became sin for us. He took the punishment for our sin as a substitute. When Jesus said, it is finished, he was saying that the punishment was over, the penalty had been paid, and God's anger over the sins of those who believe in his son Jesus was all gone. Let's look at the picture again. A couple of things to think about. Why is Jesus' death so important? What does God the Father do when Jesus hangs on the cross? Where do Jesus' friends put his body? Tune in to our next video to learn more about God's big story. If you're following along at home in your Old Story New devotional, we're on week 38, and on Monday, you can start on day one.